Hello everyone. I wanted to put together a video in regards to the full moon, September 13th, which is today for me. Um, I just found so many things in regards to synchronicities around the twin flame situations for a lot of us and I wanted to share it. Now, one of the things um, that I wanted to point out is the full moon is in Pisces tonight and I found it very interesting that Pisces is the last zodiac of all the zodiacs. It's in the last position or the final position. So you'll understand where why that's interesting to me as I go through this and I, I hope I do this properly for you and I hope I do it so that you can stay interested and intrigued because there's a lot of information here that I wanted to put together for you and get out but I might not do it the right way. I'm really excited about all of this. So the full moon is in Pisces. Pisces is the last zodiac, final zodiac. It's what does the last mean? It's the end, right? It also, Pisces is all about emotions and Pisces is a very sensitive uh, zodiac. The zodiac sign Pisces, anyone who falls under that zodiac sign is incredibly emotionally sensitive. And it is all about the emotions. But because it's the last zodiac, I thought that was interesting because um, lasts are endings. So I'm feeling with the information that I've picked up that this full moon, because full moons are all about endings, new moons about beginnings. So I'm feeling that this full moon is all about endings when it comes to the twins, um, mainly because it's falling on the 13th of September. There. And My guides have pointed out that the number 13 means your twin misses you. Right? So there's that. The last full moon on a Friday the 13th was 13 years ago. There's not going to be another one for 13 more years. It's the 13th of September. So when you look at that, September is the ninth month. Nine, nine plus 13 breaks down again to 13. Um, 13 actually started out originally as a very lucky number. It was turned into an unlucky number and it is actually a very lucky number. But one of the interesting things about 13 again is when you look at it from a place of uh, Jesus, the Last Supper which consisted of Jesus and the 12 disciples, that's 13. Now that was the night before his crucifixion, which was on a Friday. It brought his life to an end. Again, another ending, another death, right? Um, so number 13 is consequently associated with Christ's betrayer, Judas and is considered as imperfect. So if number 13 is, and it is the death card in tarot, that's the number 13. So if it is all about death or uh, a better way of saying it, endings, there's a lot of synchronicities around this full moon. You know, first of all, it's a full moon, so it's about endings. It's on the 13th of September, which is a 13, September 13th, breaks down to a 13. It's a Friday, which is when Jesus was crucified. Now, also because of the crucifixion being on a Friday, Fridays were considered unlucky in um, history. But it's an ending. This is an ending. So is it an end? to the unluckiness of twins? Does this mean we're going to, moving forward past this full moon, does this mean we're gonna start having some, some luck on our side? Is the wheel, 
Wheel of Fortune, is it turning in our favor now? Is it finally going to happen? Now, the other thing I wanted to point out to you all is I, I, my twin communicates to me through songs. And so I've been so frustrated lately because I just don't know what I'm supposed to do or what's expected of me to bring this relationship, this situation to fruition. So I decided last night before I went to bed to ask my twin, my twin soul in actuality, what it is that I need to know and or do to bring him into my life once and for all. And please put it forth to me in a song that I would hear first thing in the morning when I wake up, then I would know it's a, a message from him. Now, I woke up in the middle of the night two or three times, and every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I had the same song playing in my head as I woke up. Then again, when I got up this morning, and that song is Five Days in May by Blue Rodeo. So I looked up the lyrics this morning, and it's all about a couple that meet during a hurricane. Now, isn't that coincidental that we are in the middle of a hurricane in the United States? right now. Five days, I'm feeling very strongly that the five days in May represents five days of the hurricane or five days after the hurricane. And another part of the song, it represents, it could be a twin flame song really when you read the lyrics, but another part of it represents um, a surprise. So in my mind now, I'm thinking, okay, so either five days into this hurricane or five days after it, I'm going to be surprised by my twin coming forward. And it also goes on to say, Ooh, you know what? If you haven't already pulled it up, I'm going to pull it up and I'll read it to you because it's very interesting. So just give me a second here, everyone. I started to put a bunch of things together and I just couldn't believe what was unfolding for me. And this is one of them. Okay, so the lyrics actually start out with, they met in a hurricane, standing in a shelter out of the rain. She tucked a note into his hand. Now, does this mean that we're supposed to send a message to our twin? Which I already did. I, I got the message to send a note to my twin. And I did it just the other, uh, what's today? Friday. Yesterday morning, I sent it. Later on, they took his car, drove on down where the beaches are. He wrote her name in the sand, never even let go of her hand. Somehow they stayed that way for those five days in May, made all the stars around them shine. Funny how you can look in vain, living on nerves and such sweet pain. A loneliness that cuts so fine to find the face you've seen a thousand times. Sometimes the world begins to set you up on your feet again, it wipes the tears from your eyes. How will you ever know the way that circumstances go? Always going to hit you by surprise. I know my part. You were there. In everything I've done, you are the one. Looking back, it's hard to tell why they stood while others fell. All I know is one cloudy day, they both just ran away. Rain on the windshield heading south. She loved the lines around his mouth. Sometimes the world begins to set you up on your feet again. It wipes the tears from your eyes. How will you ever know the way that circumstances go? Always going to hit you by surprise. I know my part. You were there. In everything I've done, you are the one. So like I said, it kind of sounds like it could be a twin flame song. But what I took from that is surprise. It's always going to hit you. Circumstance is always going to hit you by surprise. And now I don't know if you all remember or not, 
but I have been receiving this message for the longest time, probably a month at least, about myself and others being in the eye of a storm. And we are to take a step back and relax and recover and recoup because the storm is like a tornado or a hurricane, okay? So you, you enter it from one side and it's going in one direction because it's spinning. So when you enter it from one side, it's spinning clockwise, say, okay? And that storm was uh, all the, how do I put this? Um, all the pain, all the suffering, all the struggle that we've been through. Then we came into the eye of the storm. Now that's our time, it's our chance to just take a step back and meditate, get grounded, relax, recuperate, recover from the storm that we just walked through because there's another storm coming in. But although this storm is also moving clockwise, because we're coming out the other side, it's moving to the right. Whereas when we entered it, it was moving to the left. So that tells me that when you enter it, 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 the fact that it's moving to the left, anything that points to the left in tarot is talking about the past. So that's our past. Like I said, that is the storm that we experienced in the past with our twins. Then we come into the eye of the storm and it's a place to clear things out, let go of the past, meditate, do whatever it is we love to do, be happy, be positive, get healed. Because as we move into the other side of the storm to come out of it, that is the good part. It's a good storm. It's chaos, but in a good way. Because I walk my dog in a place called the storm, believe it or not, the storm water pond. There's a path that moves around this pond. It's all about a way to save my small city that I live in from flooding in major storms, okay? So it's called, that's why it's called a stormwater pond. Now, for about a week, every time I walked around this thing with my dog, I would get to a corner where there's a sign that I've never really read. I didn't know what it said even, but this little bird kept landing on this sign as I would walk past it, chirping at me like crazy. Sometimes he would swoop down at me and then land on the sign. <laughs> like he was trying to get my attention. And I finally looked at the sign and I thought, maybe there's something in this for me. So I looked at the sign and when I read it, I chuckled because the sign said, storm water pond, caution, rapid changes. So when we come out of this, eye of the storm, there are going to be very rapid changes. Now there also lately have been a lot of dragonflies at this pond and a lot of grasshoppers. So that's all about the ability to, the dragonfly can fly at full speed with very little effort, but he can also turn on a dime. He can change direction at the snap of a finger. The grasshoppers, if I remember correctly, they can adapt and move very quickly and again in different directions. You can see them walking around and if you walk up to them, all of a sudden they're jumping out of your way before, before you even have a chance to realize they're there. They're jumping and they sometimes will turn quickly also and jump in an opposite direction. So this is all about getting ourselves, being in this eye of the storm, is all about getting ourselves ready for this rapid change that's about to enter our world. Now, I hope I'm not confusing anybody because I started to look into this full moon and started to get the this information about 13 years ago and 13 years from now and, you know, 13 being all about your twin missing you. And I have been seeing a lot of 1113. And in looking up information and researching on this storm, there is a lot of information in there 
that I'm going there right now that um, has eleven thirteen in it. Okay, so uh, let's see what I found here. Also, because of the song Five Days in May, there's a lot of fives around this, this hurricane storm. Uh, it started out as the Bahamas continued to recover from Category 5 hurricane. It started out being called Dorian. Then, as, we, as I went through this information, it became what they were calling a uh, potential tropical cyclone nine, which nines are completions, again, around 5 p.m. Eastern time, another five. And that was on September 12th at 11 a.m. Now, what else did I find in here? Oh, yes. Interestingly enough, the center of this storm, or the eye of the storm, was the latitude and longitude. The latitude was 25.4 degrees. Well, what's 2 plus 5 plus 4? 11. And then longitude was 74.2. Well, 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13. So that's 1113. My guides have told me 1113 is all about divine guidance, as you've asked for. Um, I'm just, guys, I'm just going through this, this information here. Um, I couldn't find it. I, I went back into it. I came across an area that had the numbers 44 then 66 and that caught my eye because the last couple of days I have been seeing 44 well actually probably more like the last couple of weeks I've been seeing 44 and 66 not together necessarily but 44 66 and I am so unsure of what that even means other than the fact that fours are all about uh, stability and if you look at it from a place of the four of wands it is about stability but it's also about union. It's about coming together in a commitment. Sixes are all about balance, reciprocity. Then uh, they decided to change the name as the storm grew and moved. They changed the name to Kiko. So I decided to look up the meaning of Kiko. You're not going to believe this. The meaning of Kiko is, is free man, sincere, or truthful. So is this a message that this storm is going to, you know, and it's, it's, um, oh, I can't think of the, it's symbolic, this storm. Is the storm that we're in symbolic to the hurricane that's taking place? And does it mean that we're going to be free soon? Because our twin is going to come to us and be sincere and give us the truth about how they feel and what they really want? So I thought that was very interesting. Um... Now, Kiko developed on September 11th, again, 11, we all know 11 is a, a very spiritually based number. This too, Kiko developed on September 11th as a tropical depression 13E. <laughs> so there's 1113 again, right? Divine guidance, as we have all asked for and prayed for. And strengthened into a tropical storm by 5 p.m. There's that 5 again. But this is when it was changed to Kiko, okay? Because once it attained tropical storm status, it was named Kiko. Now, um, on September 12th at 4.54 a.m., 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 4 is 13. So again, there's number 13. I think that might be everything 
that I came across. I came across so much stuff and it just kept blowing my mind and I kept thinking, holy. Um, something's telling me to just get a little bit more information about this Five Days in May song, so hang on a second. Oh my goodness. It was, the song itself was released in 1993. And when you look at that, 19 is nine plus one, which is 10 or one, plus nine is 10, plus three is 13. Wow. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Um, I wanted to, because of all of this going on around us with this storm, I wanted to pull uh, a Moonology card for us, and I also want to get some synchronicity cards for us on this. I, I strongly feel, you know, my intuition has been peaking so drastically in the last couple of weeks here, but especially this week, and it just so feels to me like we are so close. Those of us that this resonates with, it feels to me like we are so close to finally coming into union with our twins, or at the very least, having communication with them. I think the time is coming. I think the time is almost here. So like I said, keep an eye out on this storm, this Kiko in the United States, and, you know, I didn't, I didn't really look into when it started, uh, just going through it, everyone, to see if I can see the, the start date, they're saying it, Kiko developed on September 11th as a tropical depression, and strengthened into a tropical storm by 5 p.m., so, I'm going to say, I thought I saw September 9th in here somewhere, though. Um, but whatever it is, you guys can all look it up. I'm not going to bore you with my trying to look this up. There's a lot of 11s and 12s and 13s. Holy cow. Uh, I'm just looking at an update to Kiko. Yeah, see, they're expecting it to become a hurricane over the weekend. Wow, that's so unfortunate. So scary. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what everybody's going through that's in, in the path of this thing. Wow. Okay, so anyway, isn't that funny? September 11th, another 11. So if that's the day that it started then, we're looking at five days from there being the 16th. So around the 15th, 16th, if that was the actual start date of it, or once it's done, it's, it's, uh, it's taken its course and it's, it's downgraded to, you know, I, I mean, I think it, it's going to be, if it's after the storm is over, it's going to be over when we're no longer talking about it as a, a, an existing storm, when it's downgraded to the point where it's just rain somewhere, right? Then it could be five days after that. But I just found it so interesting that all these numbers were so synchronistic for me and could be for all of you out there, all my viewers as well. So I wanted to share this with you because, like I said, this is so exciting. But Pisces, last zodiac, full moon endings, wow, and all the number 13s, twin flame. Okay, so let's see what spirit wants to give us message-wise from the Moonology deck. And then we will pull some synchronicity cards to go with them. I want to get. Thank you, angels. Okay, we have two. Oh my God, you guys are not. You are not going to believe the cards that came out. I'm blown away. 
communication is key. New moon in Gemini. But if you watch my channel, you know that Gemini for me, the lover's card, represents Gemini. And look at this is about twins. These are twins. Communication is coming in, everyone. This, like I said, this full moon, I have a feeling this full moon is going to end everything that's been holding us back. And what did I say earlier about things that are lucky? Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius, but luck, luck, unbelievable. Okay, <laughs> now I'm really excited. I hope you all are excited too. Let's get a uh, synchronicity oracle card for each of these cards or whatever spirit wants to put out. Wow. I think communication is coming in, everyone. This is awesome. Or this is, like I said, us needing to send a note because that's in the five days of May. She wrote a note and put it in his hand. So maybe it's about us reaching out to our twin Follow your instincts, okay? Your intuition is going to be very clear on this. My intuition told me that I needed to send a message, okay? Luck. This might actually be the, the time that you communicate and it, it just hits something with them. It hits home and it's your lucky message. Or... If you feel like you're to just sit back and let your twin come to you, they will be communicating, okay? But regardless, there will be communication. What else can you tell us, angels? What's the rest of this? Further guidance. Please. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Okay. Wow. Look at the bottom of the deck. on path and about okay there you go on path and about to realize manifestation so if you haven't been seeing 811 i know i have a lot lately if you haven't been seeing it up to this point you might start seeing it now this is what it means okay <clears throat> now the cards that came out here are crazy good everyone emotional mirroring with your twin because again, these are twins. So if you haven't been seeing 1001, you may start seeing that now. And this is what it means. But this is what we're doing right now. We are emotional mirroring our twins. Whatever it is you're feeling and thinking, they are feeling and thinking the same thing. If you're tired of this, if you're wanting to persevere, if you're still feeling strongly in love with this person, they are your twin. They're thinking exactly the same thing you are. So, that being said, please make sure you're thinking good thoughts. Because whatever you're thinking, they are going to think. And vice versa. Okay? So, try not to be frustrated about the situation. Try to be excited. Try to, you know, with, with this information that's come through today... I don't know how I could be anything but hopeful and excited. I'm so eager to move forward from here. And we got this again. Your twin misses you. And I know you miss them because we are emotional mirroring our twin right now. And don't worry about it. Spirit is working behind the scenes. So here's another number. If you haven't been seeing it, you will be possibly 29 and this is what it means spirit is working behind the scenes there is work going on behind the scenes that we're not even aware of i'm so excited i want to get another card for you i'm going to draw one from the just ask oracle see what it says <laughs> big yes 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 bottom of the deck visualize what you want now how you want it so visualize yourself in place with your twin how you want it to be how you see it once you come together 
You know, if you're, you see yourself as living together, visualize yourself getting up in the morning for coffee and going out to the kitchen and your twins already there has made coffee and is sitting there waiting for you with your coffee already there, made up for you the way you like it. Give them a kiss. They pat you on the butt. You know, that's how you get the emotion going because like I've said before, your thought is the electrical impulse that you put out. But your emotion is the magnet. And what you put out is what you're drawing back. Emotional mirroring. Same idea. Okay, so whatever you're putting out is what they are going to be sending back to you. Wow. I want to get a sacred traveler card and then I'm going to wrap this up and put a nice big bow on it for you. There we go. I'm really glad I decided to do this for you guys. Wow, the energy around this is absolutely amazing. Amazing. You'll have to leave comments and let me know if any of this resonates with you. The numbers, the information that came through, the five days, being in the eye of a storm, do you feel like you're being held back? Because I'll tell you what I am. When I first was made aware that I was in the eye of a storm, that's when spirit wanted me to, or guided me, to stop doing all 12 zodiac signs at once and back off and do three a week. And I think I'm thinking now that that was just so that I would have... Um, a larger time period of rest and relaxation and time to recoup and re recover from the storm that I've come through to make it to this eye of the storm, right? And same goes for all you guys. We have all, oh my goodness, we have all been through that painful storm to get to this eye. And now that we're here, we are about to make that really big shift into 5D with our twin. And that is going to take a lot of energy, I feel. And that's why we have to get well rested. Do meditating, personal and spiritual growth. Don't worry about things. Be happy, be positive. Try not to think negative thoughts. Because yes, this is happening. That's a big yes to anything you've been asking, and to this information here. This is so exciting. I'm still blown away by the Moonology cards that came out. The, the twins. Gemini is the twins. And I just, I, you know, I've been doing this for quite a while, and I do believe and I trust in spirit and the universe, and I know that this, there is a 5D, there is a spiritual side to this life. But it still blows my mind sometimes the way, the way the cards come out. It's just crazy. Now they are looking for a very special card in here, obviously. And there it is, two of them. Because it took so long to get it. Get them. Oh boy. And what did I say about the name Kiko? What does it represent? Free man, sincere, and truth. <laughs> You are about to discover the truth. You stand in the light of truth. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And you are protected by the angels. You are cherished by the angels. This is Archangel Michael, by the way. And I don't know about you, but every time I see this picture, I know it's a cartoon, but I just, I look at it and I think, oh man, I am so in awe looking at this. This guy, this uh, Archangel Michael, apparently is like seven some, seven feet some, you know, he's not exactly seven feet tall, but he's seven something tall, seven feet so many inches tall. Massively tall, this guy. Wow. Oh, I hope this, I hope this helped everyone. I hope you have a renewed excitement for your twin flame journey because I know I needed it and I know a lot of you are in the same place I'm in, starting to get depressed and feeling depleted like it was never going to happen. Bottom of the deck. 
Why am I supposed to look? Ah. This is you right now in the eye of the storm. Take shelter. Go within. Meditate. Recover. Recoup. Get some rest. Get ready. This storm is on its way in. I think we're days, maybe at most, a week or two out from, from all of this taking place. So go within. And like I said about the message, sending a message to your twin, utilize your intuition, please, because it's going to be different for all of us. All of our situations are different. I felt like I needed to send a message. And it's my last message. I won't be communicating anymore. It's, it's like I've, I've said it all. There's nothing more for me to say. So if this doesn't do it, then it's just not meant to be. So follow your intuition. I hope this helped you all. I hope it lifted everybody. Please leave comments. Let me know where you're at in this and how this resonated with you. I love you guys. I will see you. Oh, also, I wanted to let you know, the uh, Zodiacs that were supposed to come out this week, They, are, I am working on them. I've been trying to get them going this week, but my schedule apparently is not my schedule. My guides have interrupted me I don't know how many times. But I am completing Taurus today, and then I'll be moving into Aries. And what haven't I done? Oh, then I have Aquarius and Pisces. Oh, I'm going to do Pisces today, okay? I'm going to finish up Taurus. I have to finish the extended version of Taurus, and I'm going to do Aries. Hopefully, I will get them both uploaded to YouTube tonight. If not tonight, tomorrow morning. And then the other two, Aquarius and, what did I say? Aries. They will be tomorrow. Uploaded by Sunday morning, okay? I apologize, guys. I, it was out of my control, but it is getting done. And then we are on path for next week. I love you guys. I will see you next time.